Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the lovers so this is Gemini energy okay so you could be dealing with a Gemini and this is an energy of being at a crossroads a decision needing to be made about a relationship I do see that this is a very intense and really strong connection here um, these people are very drawn to each other and there is a um, it's almost like it's this is not a 3d connection this is very much a soul connection um, this is a very um, strong and intuitive and um, powerful connection a tie between two people and um, I do see um, a need for it to be grounded more in reality because right now it's very centered on the intensity and the spiritual aspect um, but both of these people are feeling um, strongly pulled towards each other there is a strong tie here and and um, I do see some sort of decision needing to be made around the, the connection on the 3D. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Cancer. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Knight of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Five of Pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy okay so i am seeing here that there is a sense of being kept apart or something keeping you guys apart with that five of pentacles this can even feel like um uh, isolating from your person um spending time apart from your person and this is really causing feelings of abandonment um self-esteem issues and i do see that um there is someone in this connection who feels like they are not good enough for the connection they feel there are some limiting beliefs here um, about a person's um, worthiness so somebody here is really not seeing themselves as um, you know good enough to be in the connection but I do still see that there is love here um, there is a sense here of this uh, person who's in this five of pentacles energy is isolating um, feeling very keeping very much to themselves but also um, not wanting to lose the other person there is a fear of losing the other person and with this knight of cups energy i do see that the other person is pursuing the other person here is showing up as wanting to prove how much they love this person um you know because i do see one person here having some self-esteem issues and another person here wanting to show that that person how much they love them so this knight of cups energy is a person who is really showing up um very romantic energy trying to romance the partner and really being generous with um, their time their energy their emotions their hearts uh, wearing their heart on their sleeve and being emotionally expressive this person is showing up as their charming selves they, they are i'm seeing a smooth talking energy very um 
sweet and compassionate and emotionally available and with that knight of swords that is again them rushing in to to make this work um this is them wanting to prove themselves to their lover that they are all in and that they are all committed and they really want to move this connection forward um there is a decision about this relationship that needs to be made and one person is very ready to um solidify the connection with this knight of swords energy but another person is here i'm seeing them struggling with some limiting beliefs about their own worthiness and um this could be causing a little bit of a delay in the the commit the commitments around the the connection the solidifying of this connection um but there is um a need here to be to make a decision about this a mutual agreement about this connection okay so let's clarify these cards cancer Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the high priestess so this is pisces energy you could be dealing with a pisces and this is a very uh spiritual energy um there is a sense here of someone not showing their um true feelings or not being vulnerable and i do see this as this person here who has some insecurities and feelings of inadequacy and fears of being abandoned or rejected and i do see them keeping this all to themselves so the other partner doesn't um it hasn't seen the side of them but they do feel the need to really prove themselves and um they are unaware that a lot of this person's hesitations are stemming from their insecurities um and also the high priestess is also a very spiritual energy um your guides your loved ones your um higher self coming through to the reading to really reassure you that they are with you um that they uh, are guiding this connection um the lover's energy really does speak of a divine connection um you know there is a lot of soul energy soul connection so the high priestess coming through here is really that um confirmation so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so the first card we have here is the ace of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy next we have the two of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy and finally we have the empress venus energy taurus libra energy okay so i do see that um there is an offer being made here and i do see this as this knight of cups and knight of swords person this person is going to be making an offer here and they want um a, you know they're making a love offer they they have a lot of emotions and heartfelt um, feelings they are wearing their heart on their sleeve and they are being emotionally vulnerable and honest and um they want to solidify this connection they want this to be a connection that's stable that is recognized by other people that is seen that is real and grounded and i do see them um proposing this to this five of pentacles person this five of pentacles person will come out of the state they will recognize themselves as um an empress energy they will um i do see them being the ones who receive this offer because the empress is very much feminine energy which is very much receptive receiving energy she attracts so this person will be getting the offer and i do see them accepting the offer this knight of cups person thinks very highly of this person um they see them as an empress this person i do see this as their own inner struggle their own inner limiting beliefs but um this other person sees them as an empress they see them as someone that they want to spend the rest of their lives with they see them as someone who is deserving of the best this person will really help this person get past their um insecurities 
and their um, self-worth issues, their, their beliefs around that. So I do see this person recognizing that they are an empress and this connection is really helping them to see themselves as an empress and to step into their empress energy. And this connection will be, um, you know, becoming more solidified on this earth. I do see um, mutual love. It's more than just passion um, or an intense pull. There is genuine love here. And with this um, two of pentacles, I do see, um, you know, decision making here, deciding because um, the lovers is also being at a crossroads. There is important decisions being made around this connection and it's, um, you know, it's, it's title or it's status in the 3D. Okay, so I am going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. So the card says, adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Okay, so I do see a shift in mindset is needed, particularly for this five of pentacles person. They don't recognize that they are the empress. This person, um, for whatever their past traumas are, it's really blinding them from who they really are. And they are not seeing um, that this person, this Knights of Cups person, sees them as the Empress. And that they see them as someone who really is deserving of the best. So there is a need for this Five of Pentacles person to cultivate self-love. And I do see them getting there. Um, you know, adjustments are required, a shift in mindset. But I do see them um, arriving at this place. And this uh, connection may even play a part in them realizing that they are the Empress. Okay, so... Uh, I will pull out another card for you, Cancer. Okay, so the card says false indigo, immersion and intuition. When you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. Okay, so there is a, um, an energy here around, this is a very um, spiritual and intuitive connection because we do have that lovers and that high priestess energy. So this is not necessarily um, a connection that you can really define things purely on your senses alone. There is a need to rely on the intuition and um, spirituality is also a guiding force in this connection. There's, there is a very a soul connection here. So it is much bigger than just, you know, the senses and the 3D. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.